Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a modern crochet tank top. You can never go wrong with a tank top. They're a versatile wardrobe staple, perfect for most occasions, so let's elevate it. That's what we did by adding this nifty chest detail that kind of resembles a diamond or a certain hero's emblem, depending on how you look at it. Speaking of, no matter how you look at it, you're in the best place for new crochet. We've got hundreds of modern crochet patterns for all tastes, with many more on the way, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado. For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 120 grams of yarn, and that's 250 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us the funnest job you've ever had. For me, outside of YouTube and crochet, I had a lot of fun being a costume character. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using two stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. and single crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are all going to grab our category four yarn and make a slip knot. Next, grab our six millimeter hook and start off by making an odd number chain that starts one inch underneath our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be, so cropped or long. I'd like for mine to be full length, so I'm going to start by making a chain of 45, and that's 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do our first single crochet row. Block off that last chain and do a chain one. Into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, Insert with a single crochet. Insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, once more, in through the next chain, pull through, pull through two. Continue with one single crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. We've single crocheted into every chain, leaving the last one. Into the last one, we're going to do an increase of two single crochets. So insert into that last chain with one single, and into that same last chain with a second single crochet. That is our increase. The following row is going to start with an increase, so chain one, and flip your work. Into the last stitch from our previous row, Insert with two single crochets. Put one single crochet into every stitch. From here, we're going to be repeating our two previous rows. A single crochet row that ends on an increase of two single crochet, and then the following row that starts with an increase of two single crochet, and then one single crochet into every stitch. We're going to continue to repeat those two rows until we have an underarm that can reach from mid underarm to the corner of our underarm, making sure that we can be back right after an even number row or along the bottom. The first half of my underarm is all finished. I have a total of four rows, which is an inch or two centimeters. And a really quick tip before we move on, if your work is twisting, that's completely fine. It is natural. It'll all even out once when it's seamed and worn. From here, we're gonna start working on our chest detail. Since we all should be along the bottom, put one single crochet into every stitch until we all have a total of five stitches left. The detail's going to start the same for everyone. 
we should all have one, two, three, four, five stitches left. We're now going to do four front post single crochets and then into that last stitch an increase of two front post single crochets. So getting started with our front post single crochet, find the following single crochet that we have and then we're going to insert our hook underneath the body of that stitch. So into that same stitch that our previous single crochet was worked into, we're going to bring our hook into that stitch and through the other side of the body of that single crochet and then now we're going to single crochet per usual. So pull through, pull through two. Let's do this again. Into that following stitch, start on one side and then bring our hook through the other side by going underneath our single crochet and then single crochet per usual and continue this for the next two stitches. Altogether, we should have four front post single crochets and then underneath the body of that last single crochet, we're going to do an increase of two. So into that stitch, insert with our first front post single crochet. It could be a little tricky since this is the last one, but we're going to do one per usual. And then to do our increase, one more into that same stitch. So insert, pull through with a single crochet. Now that we have our increase, we're going to single crochet into the very last stitch from our previous row, but keep in mind that's not going to count as a stitch. So it is into that last stitch. Go ahead and insert your hook with a regular single crochet, and that's just to keep the edge nice and blunt. Now we're going to chain one and flip our work. Now we're still going to maintain our increase of two into this top end. So let's do our first increase of two front post single crochets together. So finding the body of that first front post single crochet that we have, making sure that we're not working into this edge here, we're going to insert our hook into there with an increase. So insert, bring our hook through the other side with one single crochet and then into that same post with a second single crochet. From here, we're going to continue to put one front post single crochet into the next six stitches. And we're doing six because we should have an extra stitch along the top end and we want the bottom end to get a little bit longer. So we're going to have one more along the bottom as well. So there's my first. So it's one. This is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and then one more for every size. This is six. Now that we have our six front post single crochets, making sure that we're not counting our increase, we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch. So into that following stitch with one single crochet. Continue putting one single crochet into every stitch. At the end of the row, chain one, flip our work, put one single crochet into every stitch until we have a total of nine stitches left. We've made our way down with our single crochets and all the way back up until we all should have a total of nine stitches left. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. From here, we're going to put one front post single crochet into every stitch, leaving the last because we're going to do another increase of two front post single crochets. Into that following stitch, insert your hook underneath the body of that single crochet, through the other side, pull through, pull through two. Continue this until we have a total of eight front post single crochets finished. My eight front post single crochets are finished. Into my last available stitch, we're going to do an increase of two front post singles. So find the body of that last single crochet from our previous row, insert with one front post single, and then into that same last stitch with a second 
front post single. After our increase, single crochet into the last stitch from our previous row to keep it blunt. Into that last stitch, insert your hook with one single crochet, and it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows, so let's just start the following row together. Chain one, and flip your work. Now, since our previous row had a total of eight front post single crochets, not counting our increase, we're going to do our increase and then do 10 front post single crochets, because remember, we have an increase along the top and we want the bottom to extend. So finding the first single crochet from our previous row, making sure we're not working into the edge, insert with an increase. So there's one, and then there's two, and then one front post single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches for all sizes. After my 10 front post single crochets, or a total of 12 front post single crochets, we're going to single crochet our way all the way down. So inserting our hook into that following stitch, insert your first regular single crochet, and put one single crochet into every stitch. And we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until this can reach from mid underarm over to the front of our body, around where the edge of our neck is. Now the increases doesn't need to touch the base of our neck, we just want it to align with the edge. And I do have some quick tips for you guys. The second half of our front panel is going to mirror the first half of our front panel, so if you guys are writing down your numbers, this is going to be a lot easier for you guys, just so we know how many single crochets and how many front post single crochets we should have for every row. Every odd number row will have an even number of single crochets, one less from the previous row, We'll have an even number of front post single crochets, two more than the previous row because we are increasing along the top and we're extending the bottom of the chest detail as well, and it'll end on an increase of two front post single crochets, and don't forget to put one single crochet into the last stitch from our previous row and that doesn't count as a stitch. Now every even number row will start with an increase of two front post single crochets. Be sure to not work into the edge. We will have an even number of front post single crochets, which will be two more than the previous row because again, we are increasing along the top and extending the chest detail, and we'll have an odd number of single crochets, one less from the previous row. But go ahead and get this done. I'll meet you back right after an even number row or along the bottom, and if you have any questions about anything at all, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So my underarm portion is all finished. I have a total of 12 rows. My width is three inches or eight centimeters, and now we're going to get started on our neckline which is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be the same lengthening that we have for our chest detail with no increases along the top. So from here, we're along the bottom, put one single crochet into every stitch for the same amount of single crochets that we have for our previous row, minus one. So we've single crocheted our way up and now we're going to do our front post single crochets. This is going to be per usual. So, do your front post single crochets until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. Our front post single crochets are done. We are not doing an increase into that last stitch anymore because we're just working straight across for our neckline. So after that last front post, per usual, single crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. And now let's get started on our following row. So chain one and flip your work. Put one front post single crochet into the same amount of front post single crochets that we have from our previous rows, plus an additional one, and then one single crochet into every stitch till we reach the end of the row. Now I have some more quick tips for this section. Every odd number row will have an even number of single crochets, one less from the previous row, and then we're going to have a total of odd numbers of front post single crochets, and we're going to have one more than the previous row because remember we're not increasing into the top anymore. And don't forget, we will end the row with one single crochet into the last stitch. That won't count as a stitch, that's just to even it out. Then every even number row will start with an even number of front post single crochets, and that is one more than the previous row, because remember, we're not increasing into the top. And we're going to have an odd number of single crochets, and that's going to be one less than the previous row, because remember, we're just extending the chest detail. From here, we're going to continue to repeat these two rows until this reaches mid chest, and I will meet you back along the top. So the first half of my neckline is finished. 
I have a total of 19 rows. My width is now five inches or 13 centimeters. Now we're going to do our middle row. So our middle row is actually going to be a continuation of the same pattern that we have been doing this entire time. We just need to establish one middle row. So since we should all be along the top, we're going to be putting one front post single crochet into the same amount of front post single crochets that we have for the previous row, plus an additional one, and then single crochet our way all the way down. So for those of you that have my numbers, I had a total of 27 front post single crochets. I'm going to do 28, and then I'll meet you back at the bottom of the row. Our middle row is finished, and we're now going to mirror everything that we just did on the other side of our middle row. So what we're going to do is put one single crochet into every stitch for the same amount of rows that we have for our previous row, but that's not counting that middle row. So for those of you that have my numbers, not counting my middle row, I had a total of 30 single crochets. So I'll make my way up with 30 single crochets. Doing it that way, we're going to start doing the second half of our chest detail. Now that I have my single crochets, we are going to front post single crochet till we reach the end of the row, making sure that we close the row off with a single crochet. Now that we're at the end of our row, we're going to chain one and flip our work and put one front post single crochet into every stitch for the same amount of front post single crochets we have from our previous row, minus one. For those of you that have my numbers, I had a total of 27 front post single crochets. I will now have 26 front post single crochets and then single crochet for the rest of my row. Now that we're along the bottom, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows, making sure that the detail is now working up towards the shoulder for the same amount of rows that we have for our neckline. So that's not including any of our increase rows. Some more quick tips for you guys for this section. Every odd number row will have an even number of single crochets, and that's going to be one more from the previous row because we are shortening our chest detail. We will have an odd number of front post single crochets, and that's going to be one less from the previous row because we are shortening the chest detail, but we are also not increasing or decreasing into the edge. And we're gonna close off the row with one single crochet into the last stitch. And then every even number row will start with an even number of front post single crochets. That's going to be one less than the previous row. Then we're going to have an odd number of single crochets, which is one more than the previous row because we're shortening the chest detail. When we have that, I will meet you guys back and a quick tip, we will be ending along the top. The entirety of my neckline is finished. I have a total of 27 rows. My width is seven inches or 18 centimeters. Now we're going to do the underarm portion. So let's get started. We're all gonna start with a chain one and flip our work. We're all gonna do our front post single crochets, but we're all gonna start with a decrease of two so that this can work down towards mid underarm. And we're also gonna be putting one front post single crochet for the same amount of stitches that we have for the previous row, minus three. Now we're doing three because we are not gonna be counting that decrease and we need to subtract one of these front post single crochets as well. So I have a total of 21 front post single crochets for my previous row. After my decrease, which we are going to insert our hook underneath the first post of that first single crochet, making sure we're not inserting in through that edge. And also that second post from our following single crochet, pull through, pull through all three. I'm gonna be doing a total of 18 front post single crochets. My 18 front post single crochets are finished, including that decrease. I have a total of 19 front post single crochets. And now we're gonna single crochet all the way down. At the end of the row, chain one, flip our work, and then put one single crochet into every stitch for the same amount of single crochets that we are about to do right here, plus an additional one, and then I'll meet you back to do our chest detail. All right, I've single crocheted my way all the way down, and now I need to do our front post single crochets that ends on a decrease. So just to make sure that we're doing this correctly, as an example, I had a total of 19 front post single crochets. Counting from where I'm at, I now have a total of 18 front post single crochets, which is correct. We want to have one less. And now we're going to be putting one front post single crochet into every stitch until we have two left. So we have a total of two stitches left. Let's do another decrease of two front post single crochets. We're going to insert our hook underneath the body of that second to last single crochet. Pull through underneath that following body, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, 
And don't forget, since we're along the edge, single crochet into the last stitch. Now from here, we're gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows until we have the same amount of rows as the second half of our underarm portion. And the last helpful tip that I have for you guys is for the first half of this underarm portion, every odd number row will have an even number of single crochets, one more than the previous row. We'll have an odd number of front post single crochets, and that's going to be two less than the previous row because remember, we're shortening the chest detail from the bottom and decreasing from the top. And then we're gonna end the row with one single crochet into the last stitch from our previous row, so that's regular. Then lastly, every even number row will start with a decrease of two front post single crochets. Then we'll have an odd number of front post single crochets, which is two less than the previous row because we're decreasing into the top and shortening the chest detail as well. And then we'll have an odd number of single crochets, one less than the previous row. So continue to repeat these two rows and I'll meet you back along the top to continue on with our underarm. And I actually have mine all finished, so let's get started on the single crochet portion. To do a decrease of two single crochets, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row, pull through, and then into that following stitch, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three, and put one single crochet into every stitch. For the following row, chain one, flip our work, put one single crochet into every stitch, and ending the row with a decrease of two single crochets into the last two stitches. Continue to repeat these two rows until the entirety of our front panel is finished, and then I will meet you back. So our front panel is all finished. I have a total of 35 rows. My width is now nine inches or 23 centimeters. And now we're gonna get started on our back panel. And that's actually going to be done exactly the same way as our front, just without all the front post single crochet for the chest detail. So I already have my back panel finished. What we're going to do is make a chain for the same amount of chains that we made for our underarm or the front panel and then we're just going to do single crochet rows with increases along the end for the same amount of rows as the front panel's underarm, work straight across for the same amount of rows that we have for the front panel's neckline, and then do our decreases for the other underarm. It's going to be the same amount of stitches into every row. Remember, just without all the front post single crochets. Get your back panel all finished up, and then I'll meet you back to seam it. So now that both panels are finished, we are now going to seam everything together. So let's place our front panel on top of our back panel. So let's insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain of one to secure. Now we're going to do a single crochet seam. Insert your hook into the first stitch into the front panel, then into the next stitch, into the back panel. And if you'd like to weave in your tail ends, place your tail end over your hook and single crochet around everything. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch, into the front panel. Into the next stitch of the back panel. Place your tail end over your hook and single crochet. And continue this until we don't have any more stitches left. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat on the other side. Now that everything is seamed together, we're going to start working on our neckline slash straps. So first things first, make sure that our work is slipped right side out, meaning all of our seams are along the inside. We're going to insert our hook into the top corner stitch of the back panel. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through. And now we're going to make a chain that can reach up and over our shoulder to the front panel's top corner. I've already measured mine out and I need a total of six inches or 15 centimeters. So I'm gonna start by making a chain 20. Now that we have our chain, we're going to single crochet it into the top corner stitch of the front panel. So find that top loop and then single crochet it into there. Now we're going to single crochet across our front panel, putting one single crochet into every side row. So this is my first side row that I have right here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with one single crochet. This is my following side row. Find that top loop and single crochet. Continue putting one single crochet into every side row until I reach the other corner of our front panel. And now that we're at the other corner of our front panel, we're going to make the same chain that we made that went up and over our shoulder 
so another 20 for me. And now that we have our chain, single crochet it into the top corner stitch of the back panel, and then put one single crochet into every side row, working across the top of our back panel, and then slip stitch it into that chain space to connect the entire first row. Our first row is finished. Our falling row is going to be a single crochet row, so pretty simple. After our slip stitch, we're going to chain one, and then into that following chain, insert with one single crochet. And continue to put one single crochet into every chain and single crochet, making our way all the way around our neckline. And then slip stitch into that chain space. And as a quick tip, this single crochet row is going to be as wide as this portion can stretch. So after the single crochet row, right before you do a chain up of one and cut, try it on to make sure that it can fit comfortably over your head. If it's a little too tight, add some more chains, or if it's a little too loose, take away some chains as well. I'll meet you back once when our following single crochet row is finished. And now that our single crochet row for our neckline is finished, we're going to need to single crochet along our armholes to clean it up. So first things first, make sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up, and then we are going to be inserting our hook into the stitch that we have that our neckline is worked into. Insert your yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and we're going to be putting one single crochet into every side row. So just to do the first few, this is my first side row right here. Find that top loop, insert your hook with a single crochet. Find our following side row, insert your hook into that top loop with a single crochet, and that's it. Continue this, making our way all the way around until we reach our other panel's last side row. Our single crochet row is finished, and now we're going to slip stitch into the corner stitch of our panel. So the same stitch that our chain is in. Slip stitch, chain one, and cut, and repeat on the other side. Now that we are done single crocheting along our armholes, we are all done. The last thing we're going to have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch y'all the next one. Bye!